Whitechapel Elitist one solo. I'm really tired, so I'll probably do this semi quick. It's a drop G tuning, so it's you don't need a seven string, but I'll just reel it off anyway. Um, G D G C F A D. But if you have a six string, that's fine. Just tune it down. Um, so here's the first part. So the palm mutes there are on the uh, D string seven, and you're hitting nine and ten on the G. Ending with two palm mutes on the seven. And then you're sliding from eight to eleven to ten after that. I know there's no inlays, I'm sorry about that. Um, right after that, you're going to slide from five to eight to six. You're gonna hit the five twice and slide up to six, so. So the fast. Then you're gonna slide up to six on the G. Seven, two. Then you do the same thing on the seven. As you see, you stop at the six there. So the whole thing so far slow. And then probably the quickest part of the solo. Um, it's on your high E, 11, 10, 8. That's 11, 10, 11, 10, 11 on your B right after. Then you're gonna do 10, 9, 10 on the G. Then you're gonna slide from, on your G, uh, from 12 to six. So the whole part's slow. Let's recap. Now my favorite, my favorite part of the solo, um, on your G string you're slide to 14, 17 on the B, back to 14. You're gonna slide to 17 on the G. And that's 16. You're gonna, then you're gonna pull off from 17 to 16. Sliding to 12 there. And that's 14 to 9. So that whole part. You're gonna do a trill <clears throat> on the G string um, from 9 to 10 to 9. That's 12 on your D, back to your 9 on your G. Then you do it again, but you don't return to your 9 on your G. Then you're gonna slide from 12 to 10 um, on your G. And now on your D string, you're gonna go 14, 12, 10, back to 12, but it's just one pick, you're just pulling off and hammering on. You do it again, but don't return to your 12. Then you're gonna go on your, um, your G string, uh, slide up to 14, then do 15, 14. And then slide down to 12 on the same string, uh, 12, 10, 12. And slide down to 7, so that part. Um, there's two endings to that solo, two different guitars. One ends on the 7 on the G, and one ends on 14 on the D. I find if you're playing the solo by itself, it sounds a lot better if you slide down to the 7, for me at least. But if you're doing the whole song and you go up to the breakdown, it's just with momentum. I feel like it goes better if you do the... Um, so the whole thing's slow.